everyone welcome to my channel this is Ingo Tu. I would like to know first off before we get into this video are you subscribed to my channel if not what are you waiting for hit the big red button and the bell next to it so you can get a what notification the next time I post a video if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for being back again one more week uh, in today's video I am sharing with you a YouTube collab that I did with the lovely Linia Renee. You can find her on Instagram. I will leave a photo somewhere here so you can check out her profile. I will leave a link to her YouTube channel so you can go and check out her content. She's a self-love YouTuber and she's all about helping women, inspiring women to live their best possible life at whatever stage they are in their lives. And first of all, that's what drew me to her content okay then the natural hair because i'm trying to do these collabs and talk about natural hair in different settings in different parts of the world i'm very very happy and very grateful that alinea agreed to do this with me so watch the following clip all the way to the end and when you reach the end give us a like check the description box for alinea renee's youtube go and check it out you'll find lots of interesting content i will see you in my next video and remember to be good take care of each other and have a wonderful weekend because it's thursday hello bye hello everyone i want to thank inu2j mumbanga for inviting me to this collaboration today i am so excited to be joining you talking about natural hair my specifically lucy pearl here <laughs> and um i want to get straight away into the questions but before i do that make sure that you like comment and subscribe today so let's get into it so the first question is to introduce myself and I am Alenia Renee and I am a woman's empowerment blogger and you can find me at aleniarenewrites.com and I also you can also find me on YouTube at Alenia Renee where I am empowering women to have joy in every season of life so come on head on over there so that you can be a part of my community too so let's get straight into these questions so I answered question number one, so now we're gonna go on to question number two. Question number two says, do you love being natural and why? And I will say, yes, I am in love with being natural because strong representation, I will say, of me just making a choice for myself. So that's why I love being natural. All right, question number three. What are the challenges and advantages of being natural? All right, y'all see me looking down, okay? All right, because I'm not going to remember everything. All right, so one challenge um, dealing with Lucy Pearl, single strand knots or the devil, y'all, okay? Or the devil. I am telling you, I just seem to, I, I could think that I got all of them, and I'm sitting there at work and all of a sudden a piece of hair go on my face and she'd just be curled all around herself, all around herself. So single strand knots is a, is a major challenge. Number two, dry hair, keeping her moisturized. Oh my goodness. So depending on the season, depending on where I'm at, it just depends. Lucy Pearl gets so dry. So just making sure I keep her hydrated and moisturized, that seems to be a major challenge. And then before I would, and then, I mean, it has to do with hair, but your social life, when you first go natural, and even sometimes during, once you're, you know, you've, you have grown out, dating. Dating was a major challenge. Um, because a lot of men don't like it, don't understand it, and wonder why. Why do you want to do that? You know, what? because it's my business. Because I want to. Okay? So, I will say, dating is definitely, was definitely a, um, a challenge. But, the advantages of being natural. I would say, number one, 
is it promotes self-care to the oomph degree really because you have to spend time with yourself with your hair getting to know your hair getting to know what your hair likes you're making choices for yourself you're not going out and having someone else do it you're doing it for yourself and that is so empowering that is so empowering i don't know why i can't get that word right today but self-care major advantage number two um uh, for advantages okay it <clears throat> I can't say that it's easy on the pockets however I don't worry about rain I don't I already know if it rains if any kind of moisture is in the air Lisa Pearl gonna be trying to stretch out to get every bit of moisture that's out there and I don't worry about it and it has taught me patience and to not worry so much Right. Question number four. What three to four things do you wish you knew before going natural? Number one, you are going to have family members and some, some, yeah, family members. People are going to speak negatively about your choice of becoming natural, but it's okay. You do it for you. All right. In the end, they're going to come back telling you that your hair is beautiful, <laughs> okay? So that was one thing that I wish someone told me, that you will hear negativity as you go along in your journey. Number two is that um, building a routine early on is, is, is critical. Whether it's, you know, having a regular wash day, you know, building a routine is just build a routine. Yep, build a routine. Number three, um, transitioning. I decided to transition and chop intermittently. Okay, so every, so what I did was while I was transitioning, I would transition and then every like six weeks, I would go ahead and cut every six weeks I would cut so during that transitioning period I wish someone would have told me to do twist outs braid outs and use small small perm rods at the end so that I would have a curl and so that my hair could look nice I didn't know what to do with my hair I struggled and <laughs> so and that those are the times when you um here that you know what it's ugly so if someone would have told me that that would be a great and the last thing is that your hair is going to look ugly for a little while okay um and by finding those hairstyles to help you go through it is important all right um number five can you share one or two tips um, regarding natural hair maintenance and I think I said it before. Number one, keep it simple. Build a simple routine and keep it simple. Simple products. Do not go out buying, spend a whole bunch of money because you don't know what your hair is going to like, okay? If you were relaxed and you have moisturizers, you have leave-in conditioners, you have um, shampoos and things like that, until you know what your hair likes, you can still use it because most of the time they're very moisturizing products. Now, are they natural? Do they have parabens and sulfates in it? Yes. But remember, the first few months, your hair doesn't know what to do. It's confused, okay? So don't go out buying a ton of new products. Use what you have, build a routine, and then start filtering in your natural hair care products but keep it simple number two <clears throat> deep condition deep condition every time you wash your hair even if you co-wash deep condition your hair all right last question all right do you think natural hair is now more accepted in your community city and nation all right I live in North America, specifically in the state of Maryland, and in Maryland, we have a lot of different areas, but I live in a rural 
um, area that's surrounded by a lot of natural, um, beautiful natural resources. So mountains and, you know, a lot of biking trails and walking trails and, and height and, and a lot of parks. So, um, I would say for my community, um, it is very accepted um, in the area. Corporately, I have found, I had to find four hairstyles that um, to kind of keep Lucy Pearl tamed. And I used those four hairstyles um, really in the beginning of um, you know my employment because I was told that I should um, straighten my hair by recruiters you know um, and because it's not as accepted so I have found ways around there because around that because I don't want to straighten my hair and you no know, hairstyles very professional where I can still keep Lucy Pearl in her natural um, kinky curly state but it's still um, professional and it's um, and it's acceptable to me okay so professional and acceptable to me but then as you establish you know your place in the workplace then you can go ahead and kind of let her hang out <laughs> the way that you like um, for it to 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 be um, I will say that as as a natural although especially here in North America it is a growing industry for natural hair care products so obviously we're out there and um, in numbers however it's still not as acceptable as you would hope that it would be I mean you know, I'm not gonna lie. I wish it, I wish it was more acceptable. You know, accepted, but it isn't. Um, I was fortunate that, in you know, my workplace, that I can express myself. You know, um, but there's some industries that will not allow you. So you find that hairstyle that's going to help you to be professional, but be acceptable for you. All right, that is it. I appreciate you being with me, hanging out with me. Yeah, hanging out with me. <laughs> okay, please like, comment, and subscribe to her channel. And head on over to Alenia Renee, um, Alenia Renee on YouTube, and check me out over there. Or go to my blog at AleniaReneeWrites.com. All right, bye bye.